Today I'm joined by Tuan Duong of Duotax and we're going to chat about the commonly asked questions about depreciation. Tuan. Thanks for having us on today, Brad. Uh, my name's Tuan. Uh, I'm from Duotax Quantity Surveys. We specialise in property tax depreciation. So effectively what we do is prepare tax depreciation schedules for property investors to maximise their cash flow using a tax tool called tax depreciation. And so depreciation is effectively the wear and tear of building assets and plate and equipment items such as your oven, your range hood, uh, your air conditioners, your carpets. These type of assets generally will wear and tear as you purchase the property, your tenants use the assets, and effectively it's getting a quantity surveyor to assess the value of that wear and tear and then putting it into paper to work out the tax deduction available on, 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 the, on that plan of equipment asset. So the depreciation report, how long does it last for? Typically a depreciation schedule will always last up to 40 years on a brand new property which is something we're very used to when, when we deal with properties that are referred by Marine in Australia. Brand new properties have a 40 year effective life. That means we're claiming 2.5% on the building. Uh, and that's on all brand new property. For commercial property, sometimes it varies. It's reduced down to 25 years based on the usage, uh, but generally 40 years. Certain items such as aircon, carpets, dishwashers, washing machines, they have a much shorter effective life. So they're typically around 10 to 15 years depreciation. So on a depreciation schedule, you not only get your 40 year depreciation on the building itself, which is your structural slab, your framing, your roofing, your windows and doors, but you also have a list of things such as your carpets, your air cons and whatnot. And these items, because they generally depreciate much faster than the building, will then separate those two assets so you can get each depreciation on each financial year separately so you'll know exactly how much you can claim for each financial year. Fantastic. So you've just touched on there, you can depreciate a building and you can also depreciate the fixtures and fittings. Has there been any changes recently to the legislation that can impact what you can and can't claim? Yeah, it's something that a lot of investors are still getting used to, especially secondhand property buyers. Um, people that are buying existing properties are now facing that. Back in the 9th of May 2017, there were some legislation changes uh, from the federal government, and that meant that we, can't, we can no longer claim depreciation on secondhand assets. That means if you go and buy a property that's secondhand in nature, you no longer can claim the, the uh, plant equipment assets such as your air con, your carpets, your air conditioners and whatnot. Um, and the reason why they've done that is to reduce the, uh, the chance of people over claiming on secondhand assets over and over again, especially if you're a fifth owner of the property, the idea was to negate that, that from happening. So now as you buy property, the only people are entitled to claim depreciation is on brand new properties. However, there is protection around Division 43, which is your building depreciation. So if you buy a property that's secondhand in nature, as long as it's built after the 16th of September 1987, you automatically qualify for building depreciation, which is the bricks and mortar, your, your structural frame, your flooring, etc. Fantastic. Well, that's some great insights there. Would you like to just give us a brief a summary of, of how investors can benefit from your service? Sure. So I guess some of the takeaways from the discussion is that uh, you know if you've bought if you've bought an investment property and it's been a while uh, and you've never heard of depreciation, the beautiful thing is the ATO will allow you to backdate your report. So that means that we can create retrospective reports to go back and claim up to two years, two financial years from the date of notice of assessment. So if it's, it's 2020 now, we can still go back and claim a property that you purchased back in 2017 and claim full depreciation. And all we've got to do is amend a couple of tax returns. So that's one beauty. The other thing is reports are done for 40 years. So you only organize a depreciation schedule once in your life for the property and that will last you for a full 40 years. The only time you actually need to revise a report is if you undertake substantial renovations or any even moderate renovations, get the report updated and that will give yield you even more depreciation. And the third thing is it's a one-off thing. So that's, that's, that's the beauty of organising a tax depreciation schedule. Fantastic. Well, there you have it, everybody. Some fantastic insights there from Tuan. If you're interested in learning more or would like to arrange for a depreciation report through GeoTax, please click on the details below.